Massive 2,000 pound sandbags sit ready on the side of the road in preparation for when the Skagit River spills over its banks once again. But County Spokesperson Laura Hahn says this flood is different. We don't typically see flood events in, at this time of year. We should, by pretty much everybody's historic knowledge, be past the worst of it. And, and this is an unusual flood event in that regard. A late winter flood is just the latest round of weather that's taking a toll on this community. In November, a one-two punch of storms swamped Skagit County, doing $25 million in damage and destroying or damaging nearly 200 homes and businesses. In this case, however, no serious damage is expected, but it's still one more thing to worry about for folks weary of this extreme weather. I like to point out that it's not just a hell of a winter. I mean, we've had historic heat waves. We've had historic wind and fires. And, you know, I I think that it would be remiss of everybody not to put all of those things in the broader scheme. The Skagit is expected to crest at 29 feet in concrete at 10 a.m. tomorrow and 28 feet around 12 hours later in Mount Vernon, well below November's peak. County officials, however, say more severe weather patterns will become much more the norm as our planet continues to warm. Climate change is real, and these are the kind of impacts that we're absolutely going to continue to see going forward. Even though this round of flooding is expected to be relatively minor up here in Skagit County, there will still be water over the roadways, and you are reminded once again, if you see that, don't try to drive through it because it can often be, uh, be running much faster, much colder, and much deeper than you'd expect. Live in Mount Vernon tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.